driving here. Can't wait because I'm driving. But I door dashed today and it was really great. I had a good day today. And here's the thing I got gas for $1.49 a gallon. So that is a total bonus as well. Plus, the streets were basically empty and the pickups and the drop offs were easy. And my last order took me almost all the way, well, not all the way home, but to the road that I need to turn down to get home. So it basically funded my travel the whole day. So this morning when I woke up, I didn't get to do my regular chores, which kind of put me off a little bit because I like waking up and if it rained, checking the rain barrel, checking the plants, turning the solar panels, taking Betty out, playing with her for a little while. So I didn't get to do any of that this morning. So, I don't know. I feel a little weird when I don't do that. I'm going to do it when I get home, though. And it rained last night. So, and I wasn't expecting that at all. I mean, yesterday's, was it yesterday or the day before? Maybe it was what yesterday's weather was really, really weird and hail and everything. But last night it did rain again. So, I am looking forward to going and seeing how much water I got and uh, if anything new is sprouting up. And um, also, I have learned something very, very important about owning and operating a vehicle. They work way better when you put a little oil in them. <laughs> I'm home, guys. And see my tiny house? Doesn't it look so cute back in there with all the trees and everything is getting so green? Oh, I just love coming home to this. You have no idea. Look who's greeting me at the front door. I don't know if you can see her, but she's there in the door. She knows I'm home and she's happy. I'm gonna go and check my rain barrels. I can't wait to see. Rain barrel, barrels, whatever. Um, I actually did something with the other one. So let's see how much water I got. Oh my goodness, this is a mess. Let me see if I can just pull this screen out and have it not all be dumped right on top of that thing. I'm going to have to wash that out. Doesn't look like I got any extra in there. But look. Look how nasty that is. Can you see it? I can't because it's too sunny and my phone looks completely dark. But tons of that pollen crap. So let me just pull this off so I don't, you know, get it down in there and then we'll have a look at what is inside. Whoa, Nellie, we got quite a lot. I would say that it is two thirds full. Yeah, we got all that pollen stuff, but you know what, that's okay. I think what I'm gonna do, um, I don't know if I need to water my plants or not. What I'm gonna do is just skim that stuff off and see what floats to the bottom. And uh, I don't know, it still looks nasty. Um, I don't know if I'll use this for washing or not, just depending what it looks like after I get all this gunky stuff off and the rest of it settles. So I'm really, really very pleased at how much water I got because there was only, I mean, I basically dumped all the water out yesterday. Or was it the day before? <laughs> I can't remember. Sucks getting old. Um, and, and cleaned out the barrel. So yeah, but let me show you something else I did. And you're going to laugh. The clips came off. The clips came off and we still got all that water. So I don't know. I know that this blows up when there's a lot of wind, but I'm wondering if once the water starts coming down, it's enough to keep it weighted enough so that it still gets into the bucket. Uh, I don't know. I'm still going to put the clips back on, but hey, that's good to know at least. You know what you're looking at? Another very primitive water catchment system. I just took that, connected the two little things at the bottom with the, with the Velcro, and let it drain down in here. Now, I didn't get very much. I got just a little bit, but it doesn't look like it has that pollen stuff in it. It does have some sediment in it, but I got a little bit more water in this one. So, bonus. I'm gonna try and think of a way to get this to work even better off of this little shelter because the rain really does come off of that. So I might as well capture it, right? Just having a look around here. It's about maybe 2.30 p.m. And uh, this is already shaded, but the good thing is, is that um, it received probably four or five hours of really good sun already. And once the sun gets past these trees, it's going to get the late afternoon sun 
going in this way as well. So, um, it looks like they're getting enough sun. Let's see if anything new is going on down here. There's still the two, the two that are over there, the two that are over there. Oh, there's another one right there. I don't know. I don't know if that's spinach or not. So, I always try and pick these little leaves and whatnot out. Um, not leaves, seeds. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to start thinning out this lettuce. Um, it needs to be done. And this bed is looking great. That little one right there is trying to come up. And the rest of them are just reaching towards the sun. So I think this will be okay spot. I mean, I'm committed to it now. There's no way I'm moving these beds at all. Um, but the tomato still looks good. And um, somebody had mentioned you should never plant vegetables in tires. And so I did a little bit of research earlier. And um, well, you know what? There's a couple different schools of thought. So maybe I'll talk about that later. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grow those tomatoes in there because, well, I'll, I'll just, uh, we'll talk about the, the tire situation maybe in another video. Um, yep, and it's just one plant, so I need to move my solar panels. Okay, everything else is looking good. None of this is going to be sprouted yet. No way. I'm going to have to see if this soil... Um, it's still pretty moist down in there. See, this kind of um, mulchy stuff that's on top is really great. And once the plants start coming up, I'm definitely going to mulch around them. Um, and nothing new going on in this planter. So, yeah, I usually do all of this, this in the morning time, and I didn't get to do it this morning. So I'm kind of off kilter here, but man, is th are things starting to get really, really green out here. Um, I'll be glad when I can get those wood piles, you know, like those nasty pieces of wood right over there taken care of. But, um, I am thinking that these trees right here, there's one, two, three, four. Those are the ones that are causing me the most problem with the sun. So I may consider taking those down because if I take those down, that tree right there is the main one that is causing this shade over here, which good, could be a good thing um, because it'll keep the tiny house cooler. But, um, you know, I don't know. I'm just going to have to think this through a little bit more. This whole spot next to the van stays really, really sunny. So I may end up just moving a lot of my planters over into this area. But then it doesn't get the morning sun. So I don't know. I'm just going to have to figure it out little bit by little. But there is that pretty tree. It is right can you see my finger? Right there. I probably got stuff in my fingers. It's got the prettiest white flowers in it. And I've got a, at least one or two more of them on my property. But it's getting really, really pretty, guys. It's going to get even prettier once I clean it up and I start, I don't know, mowing. I don't have a lawnmower. Weed whacking or something. Um, and just kind of getting rid of some of the brush and whatnot. Oh, I don't know. Man, I just live in, love living out here. I really, really just love it. Mm, good girl. You miss Mama? Hmm? You miss me? You miss me? I think she misses me. She's happy now that I'm home. Oh, love you, love you, Miss Betty. Here, I'm going to give you a hug and a kiss from Miss Donna, okay? That's from Donna. <laughs> oh, don't, no, you can't climb up in my lap. Goodness. I've been hearing little skittery sounds off in this direction, and that's where the snake was. But you know what? It is a different sound. It is like a little, I don't know, kind of like a... And if it's a snake, you're just going to hear like a slow crinkling of the leaves. And you can't see it, but I spotted the critter that it was, and it's just a little lizard. I don't know if it's a skink or a gecko. I'm not sure exactly what the lizards are like out here, but there's a ton of lizards that live over in that wood pile. 
So that's a good thing to know. I got lizards. I mean, I don't mind lizards at all. I grew up around them. But I did want to ask you guys one thing. Look at that. That spider web, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. I wonder what kind of spider that is. It is so cool. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. That's about as much as I'm going to get. Let me hold this as still as I can. I bet you they could catch a bird in that spider web. Do any of you know what this is? What kind of spider or what it is that's creating that big web? I've been fascinated by it. I'm at home and I could not be happier. Oh, and I changed my shirt. Check it out. Yeah, it's it's getting really big on me. It's an extra large and uh, when I first got it, it wasn't this big, but I was a little bit bigger. And then I moved into my van and uh, now I'm doing this homesteading thing and slowly but surely, I mean, the weight is coming off and I'm not even trying. I just found that once I moved into the van, I was just so much more active. I was always on the move and I loved being outdoors more and it's the same here. I There's so many things to do around here and some of it is strenuous work, let me tell you. So I'm trimming down a little bit. I mean, I don't even know how much I weigh. I don't care, you know. I'm not concerned with, with my weight. Oh, God, there's weird bugs flying all over the place. But it helps keep you happy, just staying busy. Yeah, this t-shirt, um, I made it myself, tie-dyed. Uh, I made it with one of my granddaughters. She made her own, um, her own tie-dyed shirts too. Hi, Annabelle, if you're watching. I don't know if you even know about this channel. But anyhow, so it's been a good day. And I don't have to go in the city tomorrow. I do have to go the day after that. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of like chill out for the rest of the night, cook something tasty, probably on the rocket stove. Yes, underneath the tarp, and not the tarp, the sun shelter. And it, it, I, I'm telling you guys, the heat just does not get that high. So don't worry, it's I'm not gonna catch anything on fire. And after I'm done cooking, I put a little brick over the uh, top part, so it kind of extinguishes itself. So <sighs> anyway. That's all I got for you. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.